What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the TransArt Blade Leopard Shadow. Their version of a Transmetal 2 Cheetor. So this was sent to me by Mr. G. Tony. Thanks for allowing me to take a look at this. You got some nice box art here on the front. Got some line art there on the back. You got another piece of artwork. They've been doing this kind of for every box. Here you got a QR code for the instructions. Hopefully that actually works. On occasion, they have instructions that don't work or just aren't very good. So let's see. And I've been looking at pretty much all of these. We skipped Megatron because apparently it got delayed. Uh, I ended up getting it um, for G Tony from uh, internationally because it just, I don't know, it got delayed and then it got kind of recalled as they redid it. I'm not really sure why. Maybe they had some issues. But. So we're taking a look at this guy first. Here's your instructions. It's, uh, again, QR code. Got some stickers, which of course I'm not going to put on. Uh, these look like eye options? I don't know. I guess you can have different shape and size eyes. Anyway. You get the collector's card. Blade Leopard. And there's the tech specs. And let's take a look at the figure. They've been pretty good about the packing. Wow, this is interesting. They did it in a soft... Okay, it's bendable. So, I assume this becomes his tail, but it's also a weapon. It's got some really nice paint on it. It's got a, a black wash over this orange, and then a little bit of silver. It's very nicely painted. That's pretty cool. And it is bendy. So, that works. We have his gun. Looks super shiny. Wow. Yeah. Super shiny metallic red. Does I'm imagining it like expands or Oh, it has a missile. <laughs> Look at that. You get a shooting actual shooting missile. Pretty neat. Alright, let's set that aside. And we get the figure here. So, first impressions. I, I really am not a Beast Wars fan. So it's, it's hard for me, but... Gosh, he's so ugly. Oh my god. I, I know that's what he's supposed to look like. Um, but yeah. It does have some nice metallic red here on the arms. Metallic silver, lots of paint detail, washes. It's very impressive, the paint. Um, not only on the silver parts, but on the orange parts too. There's like a wash over this as well for that darker brown. Here's the back. It really does look good. It, it feels a little rubbery in spots. Maybe that's just how it is. But like the hands, the fingers, for example, feel rubbery. They're not hard plastic. Um, but yeah, overall feels pretty good. I think it's a really simple transformation, so <laughs> this should be a pretty quick review. I don't think there's a lot to him. Um, I think you can put the tail in if you want. But it also becomes a weapon, so... Yeah. So we'll get this guy checked out. I, I'm guessing this will be pretty relatively straightforward. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see you then.